Hello everyone, my name's Cold Faison, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, Princess Peach was kidnapped by Bowser. Again! And so Mario's on a brand new adventure to save her. Again! Today in this episode, we are going to be heading into our first dome here, the Terrace, and we're going to be exploring the galaxies within it. But before we do that, let's go ahead and talk to this little cute Luma here. This is one of the many domes on this observatory. We call it the Terrace. I'm not sure if I talked to him in the last episode, <laughs> um, but I just wanted to do that. Anyways, let's head inside. Yeah. Welcome! This dome acts as an eye of the observatory. From here, we can gaze upon distant galaxies. Once this Luma transforms into a pool star, he will guide you to those faraway galaxies. Simply point your star cursor at the pool star and press A. I love how his eyes are black and he has a blue body, and this black Luma here has a black body with blue eyes. It's kind of cool. Anyways, let's pull up on it, and we go up into the air. These are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The numbers represent their distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the farther you will be able to travel. So let's go to this galaxy! It's the only one we can even go to. And it is the Good Egg Galaxy. Yes, it's undeniable. We're detecting Power Star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. But I must warn you that the evil energy readings are off the charts. Please be careful. Oh, I will, you cute little black Luma. Oh, I just want to squish you. Alright, let's fly to this galaxy. And our first star will be Dino Piranha. Welcome to the galaxy! So just like in Super Mario Sunshine, they do give you a preview of what star you're gonna get. Which is kinda helpful, it's nice. Anyways, it's just a ton of star bits, ton of everything here. Um, I'm not gonna collect like every single star bit I see, but I guess if there's a bunch of them, I'll go ahead and do it. But I know like in these little, uh, like in the yellow flowers here, flowers here, you can uh, get a lot of star bits. But anyways, um, we do have a new enemy here, these guys, which are called Octoombas. Kind of look like Goombas in some way, like the shape, like the body of it, but you know, it obviously looks different, so Octoomba. And it's, it's, this music is so good. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so you can see the star bits are on the trees, which I really like. I think that's, like, really cool. It's, like, supposed to represent leaves, I guess. <laughs> um, but anyways. Collect some of that. Collect some of that. Oh, yeah, and also there's uh, meteors that come down every now and then, and they'll have star bits for you to collect if you want to collect those. Anyways, let's head here. Let's head into the orange pipe here. And you'll be brought into a squared room with multiple colors on it. Get up the ramp, Mario. Shit. So before I collect this uh, big coin with a question mark in the middle, you see these little yellow things here? Well, if you shoot a star bit at it, a coin will pop out. So that's good if you're low on health. But anyways, let's collect the star. Well, not the star, the coin. And little musical notes will come out. And if you collect them all, they'll play a noise. And so, yeah, that was uh, the underground theme from the older Super Mario games. <laughs> well, Mario Brothers. Anyways, you get a 1-up out of it. Which is nice. Really the only thing in here besides the coins. And coming out of this pipe, you will be on top of this house here with a sign. If you get tired and want to return to the observatory, press negative or plus and select return to the observatory. But you can't bring back any star bits you picked up, so be careful. Okay! Alright, I don't even know what I was trying to do there. <laughs> Anyways, let's go back on the other side of here. I think this is really cool. You just, like, flip to the other side. It's like, whee! 
That's what I love about the Super Mario games. The Super Mario Galaxy games is just... The whole, like, planet orbit thing. Some people get, like... Not, like, motion sickness, but I guess they don't like the camera turning upside down on them, you know? I guess people don't like that. Anyways, out of my way! I thought he was gonna hit me. Over here is just a crystal with a bunch of star bits, which I just want to collect. And that is pretty much it. I know there is a Luma nearby we could talk to. Oh, there he is. Oh, here's a block. You get a lot of star bits this way. Yay! These things would look cool as, like, rock candy. Like, that'd be awesome. Rock candy star bits. Ooh, I wonder if they actually sell those. Anyways, what you gotta say? To pick up star bits scattered around the galaxy, touch them with your star cursor. Yeah, and, you know, I only told you this, like, a million times, you know, as if you didn't get it already. You gotta screw it in your head even more. Collect 50 to get a 1-up, and it really wouldn't hurt to store some up. Now point! You we will mount the screen, and collect as many star bits as you can. Thanks, Mom! Anyways, yeah, so it doesn't hurt to store some up. Actually, we're gonna need, um... A lot of star bits are gonna come in handy in the future. But anyways, the way we need to go to is up here. My friends are ahead! Hurry! Apple Star to Launch Star! Fly, babe, fly! I love it when he flies. It's just like, it's just really detailed in my opinion. It's, just, it's so cool. If you get hurt, grab a coin to patch yourself up. You know, I only told you this like, 50 times already. Pick up a coin to restore some life. Anyways, uh, we got these boulders rolling around, and they have kind of like a red jewel or like a gem in the middle. Well, if you hit it at the right time, you will be able to get a lot of star bits out of it. So I'm going to try to get all these extra. Oh, there we go. Whew, that was close. And there's some star chips for us to collect. It can be kind of tricky to get these your first time. You just got to time it really well. Some of these things are off, kind of. Whew. Uh, but yeah, these boulders just have, like, a ton of star bits in them, so it's like... Mm -hmm. uh, bam! Okay, there we go. Ain't gonna die, man. Sucker! I, I thought I was gonna get hit there. Um, anyways, we're missing two more pieces. Go ahead and collect them. Four. Five! Collect them all! <laughs> Need to shut up. <laughs> Alright, launch up to the next planet! Alright, so we got some new enemies here. These things are called Slurples. Alright, Slurples, is that the right word? Yeah, Slurples. Kinda had like a list down just in case, like, if I forgot the names. <laughs> but, I got them first time. Oh, I always forget this piranha plant is here, jeez. Come on, get on it. Get on him. Thank you. And killing him will spread a little uh, vine for you. So all we do is swing the real remote really fast. Circles, get out of here. Now, so there's some more boulders here, but they're going to be spotting infinitely. And I bet you guys are thinking like, oh, sheesh. I thought I was going to fall. <laughs> it gave me an owie. Anyway, so... These things are going to be spawning infinitely, and you guys are probably thinking, like, oh, well, I'll just get a bunch of star bits, like, infinitely. No, only um, a certain amount of boulders contain star bits. Ah. Yo! I'm not going to die. Watch. I'm going to get this. If I don't get it, I'm going to scream real loud in my ass. Okay, there we go. We got it. <laughs> All right, so yeah, after the third boulder here, um, you won't be able to uh, get any more star bits out of them. You can also use these, like, balloon-looking things and spin into them, and they'll go ahead and hit the boulder. But be careful. If they don't hit anything, they'll come back and slam you, and they'll slam some uh, star bits out of you. So anyways, the path is over here, so they're coming out of that thing. And up here is a spiny piranha with some sparkles. These things remind me of uh, Super Mario Sunshine. You know, the, like, the ones that look like pigs? They, like, plug up uh, your flood. <laughs> Anyways, all we need to do is, a uh, spin attack into the little balloon thing sent him. Or you could- <laughs> What you actually could do is, um, when he- When his, uh, face is, like, on the ground, you can actually just step on him and he'll die uh, that way. Uh, but so this is the way to actually get to the other planet. There is another way we can go to, another little secret area, which is that piranha plant sticking out of that pipe. 
So I don't want to, like, risk uh, long jumping over there, because I tried it before and <laughs> ended up dying. Um, and oh yeah, these are called, uh, large... Dang it, large spiky flowers? I was gonna say spiny flowers, but that's not... This platform will disappear with time. Get on him, kill him, and go in the pipe. And you'll be brought here. So you just gotta activate the flip switches! Give me more! And basically the whole reason behind this, I think, is just for this one-up. But I guess they just... They wanted to be... Let it be fun, so... It's kind of fun, but the whole reason behind this was just to get that one-up. So I don't know if you want to go in that way, it doesn't matter. And you just end up back over here. To this one. Looks like a soybean. There's an invisible enemy. What is it? Get over here, mother... <laughs> Anyways, this guy is a star bag. So you hit it and kick him, and a bunch of star bits will come out. Pretty much similar to the coin bag in Super Mario 64. Ew. Alright, that was it, right? Okay. What do you got to say? Watch out! After you spin once, you have to wait until your Luma comes back before you can spin again. Yeah, see, um, when you spin, the Luma comes back to you. It takes about a second for him to come back, and that one second could be the difference between you and, like, death, so, you know, use it wisely. You can't, like, do it infinitely. You just gotta wait for that little Luma to come back to you. Look at him, watch! <laughs> Alright, kill these Octumbas. And break this crystal. And launch! And you see the egg is all the way over there. Go ahead and collect some star bits. Gimme! Okay, we got them all. Nice. I feel like this is so mean. We're, like, attacking this poor creature. So he's moving around. You would think, like, he would try to break out of his shell, right? Anyways. Hit his tail end. Okay. He's cute. He's he's adorable. I love this guy. So, obviously, this is, um... I guess you could say, like, a little mini-boss. This is the Dino Piranha. Well, this is Dino Piranha. I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh. So, um, I used to watch a Nintendo Capri Suns Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2, and he would laugh at the fact that this, uh, Dino Piranha would, like, make a straight back every time he screams. Just, like, look at him watch. Well... Not that time. Like, the first time you hit him and the shell breaks open, like, he just, like, screams, but his back is straight. Which, like, now that I... Like, I can't unsee it now. Like, I just think of Nintendo Capri Sun when I see that. I just think it's, like, really funny. I'm like, yeah, it's true. He does have a straight back. But anyways. Continue to hit him. Star bits will fly out. Dude, I swear, I smell farts from my dog. It smells like he farted. He's, like, right behind me sleeping on my bed. Ugh. That's what it smells like. Anyways! It smelled like farts. <laughs> I don't know if I should tell this story. <laughs> but you know what? Every human being does it. Okay, I like farted one time at Walmart. <laughs> And then, like, I pass by these kids with their mom, and then the little kid's like, Ew! It smells like farts! <laughs> I was, like, in the other lane. It was so funny, because I was, like, looking at the video games and stuff, and it was just, like, it was, ugh, it was hilarious. <laughs> Anyways, there's little plants here throughout uh, this planet. Um, if you do shoot a star bit at it, it will blossom and a coin will pop out. So that's nice if you're low on health. So anyways, let's collect our star. No, not right now. Those star- those crystals are star bits. To Lumas, they are the tastiest, most delectable treats imaginable. Aim your Wii remote at the screen and, and point your star cursor at them to pick them up. Once you have some, shoot them by aiming with star cursor and pressing B. Oh my god, you guys are gonna tell me this like 50 more times?
Why don't we try it out? Aim at me and feed me some star bits. Okay, so collect them and... Shoot the star bits at them! That's the ticket! Yum! Delicious! Oh, thank you, yes! It's like that L'Oreal com commercial. Oh, yes! Mmm, tasty. Let's call those little morsels my fee for this lesson. You can also shoot them at enemies or feed them to a hungry Luma. Either way, I am sure Starbits will be a big help on your adventure. <laughs> Every time I think of Hungry Luma, you know the Hungry Hungry Hippos game? Like, you guys have seen the commercial, right? Like, like right at the end, you know, they're like hitting the Hungry Hippos to get the little white balls in the mouth. <laughs> and like after, like, they say like, you gotta get them all to win. And he gets the last one, the boy, and then he's like, I win! Hungry, hungry hippos! I probably just screech in your guys' ears. He's like, you gotta go all, I win! Hungry, hungry lumas! <laughs> That's like every time I think of, like, hungry luma, I think of, like, the hungry hippos, and he's like, I win! Like, at the end. Anyways, we're gonna go back to the Good Egg Galaxy because we have no other galaxy to go to. I'm gonna go ahead and go for a second star here. This one is a snack of cosmic proportions. <laughs> okay, so uh, the Luma we saw in the uh, in the cutscene was a hungry Luma. So, um, seeing as the Black Luma was talking about, um, collecting star bits and how they're tasty and delectable, we're gonna assume that this Hungry Luma's gonna want some star bits. And also, he was holding, like, two star bits, uh, like, as a sign next to him. <laughs> Anyways, um, there's some rocks on the floor here. If you spin in the middle of them, you'll get some star bits out of it. So, yeah, this Luma's gonna want some star bits. Ooh. So we're gonna need to collect a bunch from this guy, so... Oh, you just not just hit me, fool! You can actually get on top of this house. Um, there's a way to do it. Just go, boom, triple jump. Get up, yeah, did it. What now? I'm not going in there because it's gonna be like the same thing. It's like get a one up. Um, but yeah. Oh God. Okay. There's just so many star bits I want to collect. Collect some right here. Oh, meteor. Thank you. Slurpfuls, I see you. I want to say Squirtle, but. <laughs> Get out of here. I know, um, if you do have those slurples on you for, um, a while, you'll actually take damage from them. So, I mean, they may not be harmful now, but yeah, you'll take damage. They totally remind me of those, like, green goop, those green globs from Futurama where they, like, stick on your head and then they make you stupid and stuff. <laughs> well, they, like, mind control you. Um... Anyways, yeah, I think that's enough star bits. Wow, we got 69 already. Jeez. And you come over here, there will be a blue luma. I've got a hungry friend up ahead. You don't mind sharing your snacks, do you? Well, I mean, I can't eat them, so I guess he can have them. And all I need to do is pull to the launch star. Whee! I feel like that landing would feel like it would break Mario's ankles. <laughs> like, I'm not just saying. And with these big, uh, spiky plants, you can go ahead and hit this little balloon thing into them, and you can collect star bits that way. Oh, no, wait. Oop, don't hit me. So there's that. Goombas. Crystal. Got 90, that's really good. Yeah, he's gonna want a lot, so. They do give you um enough time, well, enough like star bits and stuff like that. <gasps> God. I make like the stupidest noises. Like I record and then like I edit and I look back and stuff to like make sure everything's okay, and then like I just like laugh at myself sometimes. I'm like, why do you do that? Like, this is stupid. 
Anyways, we're done here. Let's go up to the Launch Star Blast Off. Now, there is a Launch Star here in the middle. You can go to it if you shake the Wii Remote. I believe, right? Because I think I did it before. And you'll go somewhere else. Um, but if you still need Star Bits, you can go ahead and like continue to go to this planet, which there is a lot of boulders here we can go to. Smack around. Right. I'm getting hungry, getting hungry. <gasps> oh, damn it. I messed up. Okay, let's try that again. Where is he? There we go. Oh, geez, the camera change. Yeah, the camera change can be uh, kind of finicky in this game, especially because, you know, you're going upside down and stuff like that. Camera changes, like, going to the other side of a planet. I know there's one more boulder. There you are. Come here, you little shit! Uh-oh, no! I'm not gonna die. Oh, God, now I'm afraid, actually! Hang on a second. I can do this. Oh, my God, I died! No! My first death. Okay, there we go. I can't believe I died. Wow. Ugh. Silly me. Oh well. I was gonna think I was gonna die in this LP, but... Pfft. That's a long shot. Anyways. Um... Ah, I didn't show it off, I don't think, but there is, like, some star bits here in a coin. So, yeah. Anyways. Oh, let's go collect this box right here. I think I already did that in the last land before I died, but... Whatever. Ah. Okay, we are done here. No more. Ugh. Oh, Jeez. Launch the hell out of here! Try not to take that, because... I think it's another area that... Actually, maybe I shouldn't have taken it. Because I can't remember now. I think that just leads to another planet with just more, uh, star bits on it. I believe... Ah, uh, but anyways. God, I just, like, want to collect them all. Gotta collect them all! Gotta collect them all! God, it's like Animal Crossing amiibo cards, like... <gasps> I finally actually completed the first series, like... I don't know why I'm even doing those. It's crazy. I do love Animal Crossing, I'm a huge fan of it. Anyways, let's go talk to the Hungry Luma. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform! I'm famished! I need 100 star bits to curve the hunger pangs! Let's do it! So hungry, more! I didn't even feed you and you're- you want more, you little pig! That's it! I'm stuffed! Here we go! Transfer! A new planet was born. Yes, so uh, hungry lomas turn into planets to help you get stars, or sometimes the planet they turn into will have the star on it. I kind of wonder, like, are these lomas gone forever? Are they just like... I don't know. They just die? No. I don't know. Makes me sad to think about it. It's like, come back! It's like, I just want to touch your soft squishiness. Alright, so we're on this new planet. Thank you, oh... Praise the Luma Lords. Hungry Luma Lords. Alright, anyways, I don't even know what I'm saying. Stop it. I'm already getting sick of collecting star bits, honestly. <laughs> Just die. There's really nothing in these boxes besides, like, coins and stuff, so... I'm gonna head up here now. Do -do 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 -do. Get these things. And there is a one up! No, 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 don't hit me! Eh. Alright. One up's right there, and there's a Goomba on top of the box. I love how Nintendo uh, places Goombas kind of silly like. Well, you live this time. But it's just really funny the way they position them. Like, that one was like hiding on top. Well, that one was on top of the box, the other one was like behind some boxes. I just thought it was cute. 
I should just let them live because they're so adorable. What are you telling me to swing for? I'm, oh, forget it. I'm not even going to go attempt to get that plant. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, anyways. Why is it telling me to swing the weird? I'm like, Jesus! Like, I know how to do that already. And now we land on the capsule here in the center. Now, this capsule reminds me of Mad Space from Sonic Adventure 2. Ah, battle. And... <laughs> If you guys have played Super Mario, Super Mario, wow, well, uh, Super Mario Sonic, um, Sonic Adventure uh, 2 Battle, you'll know that Mad Space is one of the most like difficult levels in the game, which is like Rouge's stage. Now, um, if you get an A in all of the levels of that character, you unlock a costume for them, and that's what I was trying to go for with Rouge. And like, I cannot do it for the life of me on Mad Space. Like, I always end up with like an E. I think the highest I ever got was like, I think a B. It was crazy. I was like, dude, how do you do this? Like with A. Like, ugh. Should like YouTube it or something, but it's like, oh my god. But yeah, this capsule totally reminds me of Mad Space. Anyways, where the hell is the opening at? Did I just pass it? Get away from me. It's right... There it is. It's right here. Hit it and... Get inside. So yeah, there's arrows pointing up and down. Up means you're gonna switch the gravity here. Back down. We're gonna go back down. Now I'm trying to remember... Um, no, that's not where I wanted to go to, actually. Did I want to go to... <laughs> Am I going into circles like an idiot? Because I know there's, like, a little secret area you can go to. Where is it? I'm just going upside down now. God, just stop. Alright, here we go. Here's the little secret area. Get over here before it closes on your ass. And you get another one up. And I didn't really want to do that, but... There's just some little more, uh, star bits there. <laughs> just gonna fly here and... Break out of here! I don't know how that didn't break my skull, but... We did it! And there is a star in the middle, and all we need to do is collect these uh, pull star chips. Now, you can actually long jump to this thing, but I'm just gonna do it the way they wanted you to do it, so... <laughs> yes, you can go underneath. I'm not gonna dab into the oblivion. And... Ugh. There we go. I know. Oh, God. Can I, stop it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Just pull up to it and... I'm not going to do that every time. Just like how many star bits. It's because I, like, died. I, like, got some new ones. We discovered a new galaxy! Which is within the terrace. Well done, brave explorer. You discovered a new galaxy. Collecting power stars will expand our range of vision, perhaps to eventually include the enemy base. Alright, guys, so I think that's going to be it for this episode. So, next time on Super Mario Galaxy, we're going to be getting the last star here in Good Egg Galaxy, Good Egg Galaxy, and we might possibly explore this new galaxy here. So, thank you all for watching, and see you guys later!